right in. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today we're doing a mini episode. Yes, we're going to yes. do a mini episode every other regular episode. And we like to judge people, so we're going to rate things. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to, yeah, basically, exactly, we do, we love to judge, we love to rate, Uh, so we're going to, yeah, this is going to be rating things out of 10, Um, by the way, we are Silence of the Hags, Um, yes, yes. (laughs) as we said before, yeah, that's okay, Um, I'm Sage, and and this is Danny. hey, hey, Um, all right, I mean, let's dive in, yeah, let's go right into it, you want to start, you want to start, you want to start, you you go first, ladies first. (laughs) <laughs> um, so my first one, in Virginia, my, and my, my laws just happen to be all American. <laughs> like, <laughs> and my, mine just happen to be all Canadian, so, so we all work each other out. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, in Virginia, it's illegal to kill or hunt any wild bird or animal, including nuisance species, like I'm assuming mice and shit like that, rats, on Sundays. Yeah. Just on Sundays, um, with one exception. <laughs> Fucking kill all the raccoons. Go no! right ahead. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, I love the raccoons! Just, yeah, literally everything but raccoons. No, raccoons, they like to wash their hands in little streams. <laughs> we have to protect them. Have you seen the video of um, the guy who gives the raccoon cotton candy? And no. he puts the cotton candy immediately in the water and then is like pawing around because it oh, just no. disappeared. <laughs> he was trying to wash yeah. it. Oh no. I love raccoons. I'm rating this zero out of ten. A zero out of Negative ten. Negative ten out of ten. How dare you out of ten? <laughs> yeah. I agree. Oh my god. Ugh. All right, well. Maybe on to, like, happier news? I don't know. This is maybe happy. So, um, in BC, Canada, it is um, illegal to kill a Sasquatch. I think that's also... Uh, I was reading the other day. It's not just BC. There's there's a state in America as well where it's also illegal. To, I think it was, like, Alaska or something. I could be wrong. But there's... Do they have some... There was a state where it's, like, Sasquatch you can't... Oh, Washington. It was Washington. Um, in oh, Washington, yeah, I guess they're pretty you close. can't kill Bigfoot. Yeah, I think that that's for the best. Yeah. I mean, we don't Big know if he's foot. real. Please don't kill him. Okay, how dare you? First of all, <laughs> Sasquatches are absolutely real. And so is Bigfoot. Okay, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> Remember when <laughs> we just got confirmation of aliens? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, okay. okay I take so it back. He's out it's there. It's the same thing. Don't kill him. He's out there. No, don't kill him. I give this, I, I would say this, this law, I'm going to give a solid... I give it like a seven. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Could be better, yeah. but not bad. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a six. <laughs> Could All be right, a little more right, specific. Right, right. I right, feel like right. Sasquatch is. I don't know. What do you perceive as a Sasquatch? Yeah, Sasquatch could be. Could anything. be a Yeti. You got mountains here. Like, well, I don't know. Could be me after hanging out in the woods for a week. Exactly. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I know all of, all of Canada knows this maybe all the states also knows this but i just think it's hilarious every time um Mm -hmm. you guys aren't allowed kinder surprise (laughs) in america (laughs) i just yeah why i'm so sorry it's so good they're so delicious and they're cute you get a toy inside yep i'm i'm sorry that you guys choke on them (laughs) (laughs) sorry i'm so sorry all right so next, um, I have here, it says that in Alberta, it is illegal to set fire to the leg of a wooden man. No? A wooden man. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the leg of a wooden man. You can't do it. No, do no, no, no. not light wooden people on fire, please. They're That's a 10 out of 10 rule. <laughs> oh, we didn't no, rate the Kinder um, Surprise. I was going to say, shit, we forgot to rate. Uh, Kinder Surprise. Man. I rate it, I rate it, like... I'm going to say one say, out of ten. No, I'm going to say a zero. Yeah. That's a... You know what? Like, I get it. It's a choking hazard. But the egg is big. It's the size of a whole egg. Why are you sticking also, the whole thing in your fucking mouth? <laughs> like, why? Why? Also, um, Canada has children, too. Yes. And our children don't choke and die on them yes. enough to... Also, just teach your children how to eat them. Yes, just teach, you your, teach children. your children. how to eat bananas, do you not? They don't eat the whole fucking peel. <laughs> Just yeah, they don't just the shove it in. Kinder surprise. It's not that hard. No. No. I think, I yeah, I say that's a zero out of ten yeah. rule. Um, okay, we'll start again with the Alberta one. 
Um, it's illegal to set fire to the leg of a wooden-legged man. So, if, if, you know, you know Patchy the Pirate from, from Spongebob? He's got, he's got a peg leg. Yeah. Can't set him on fire. Popeye. You'll be fine. Peg leg. No, he doesn't. No, he does not. <laughs> he eats spinach and gets very strong. Yes. No, 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 no. Um, sorry, what do we, so what, what, what are we gonna rate this? Rate it an 11? An 11. You're giving 11, it an 11 out of 10? I'm gonna say 11 peg legs out of 10. 11 peg legs. Yeah, wow. cause it's just, it's just fucking rude to set someone's leg on fire. How dare you? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> all right. Yeah, I'm gonna go solid 11 peg legs out of 10. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right. Next up. Mm-hmm. I like this one. This is in Arizona. <laughs> Oh, you oh, cannot, n- under any circumstances, manufacture or distribute imitation controlled substances. <gasps> I saw that. No fake drugs. Real drugs, fucking go for it. Fake ones, yeah. meh, absolutely no, not. No, no, no. <laughs> those little, those little Popeye cigarettes you get at Halloween Town. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween time. Illegal. No, 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 no. <laughs> Against the law. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, I wonder, yeah, I wonder how that rule came out. I know. Out. I mean, somebody had to have been, like, selling fucking some drug and just giving, like, sugar pills or baking soda or something. Or maybe, maybe people are grooming children Ooh. into being early cocaine users. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, <laughs> that could be it. Dive. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the conspiracy <laughs> yes. season, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, make sure you check out our last episode uh, about uh, about uh, Wayfair conspiracy uh, Wayfair. Wayfair. Yeah, <laughs> just... check it out thank you so much you. <laughs> like write and subscribe quick plug <laughs> <laughs> yes all right all right um so for that one i'm gonna give that like a i'm gonna say a two out of ten yeah it's an okay one yeah. i'm gonna give it a three it's, yeah it's like yeah, yeah it's kind of boring yeah. <laughs> like what 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 is what is you know your childhood if you can't and that you're smoking cigarettes. Exactly. But oh, I have a like funny story. Sugar um, talk. Mom, if you're listening, I'm so fucking sorry I ever did this. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like in the sixth and seventh grade, I do, I'm ready. I do not know how this became a trend, but genuinely, like there was like a group of us, and there was probably like, at least like ten or twelve of us. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. We used to smoke paper. <laughs> And we were like so like Jesus. fuck yes this is the coolest thing ever and we'd like ro- literally roll up like just like fucking construction paper and shit and like smoke it and like the person who like coughed like be like ah oh, you're a bitch <laughs> you can't handle the smoke it's just like like straight just like literal like paper smoke you're inhaling um, fast, fast forward to ten years later and, and every one of you has crippling anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Jesus. There was all the dye that was in the long paper. God damn it. It was toxic after all. Oh, um, that's funny. I actually, I have a funny story, too. Not I did. I never smoked paper because I'm not a fucking psychopath. But this, actually, this might be worse. So, in middle school, um, I don't, it wasn't really a friend group thing. It was pretty widespread uh, across the school. Um, and if you really wanted to prove that you were, fu- like, you were the shit, you were a badass... Mm-hmm. Um, you know those little pixie sticks oh. that you can buy? Oh, you it's, fucking it's, told yeah. people <laughs> Uh, yeah, proceed. <laughs> yes. So, so, for those of you who don't know, pixie stick is, is essentially, um... Sugar. It, it's just, it's just straight, like, sour sugar in a plastic tube, and you squeeze one on the end of the tube to, to pop it open, and, and you just, you just suck it down. Um, and one of my, one of my, uh, teachers at the time was very fond of, of telling us that, that some of the, s- the same ingredients in rocket fuel, uh, are in these pixie sticks, which, I mean, who, who knows, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is why I have crippling anxiety, who knows? Um, yes, another <laughs> one. Eating kids rocket um, fuel. <laughs> well, okay, well, if we weren't eating it, no, 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 um, what, what we would do is, you know, you take a little bit. Lick, lick your hand, put a little bit of sugar on your hand, so, you know, you lick your hand so it sticks, and you fucking snort that shit up, <laughs> up into your brain. Oh my god. And it burns. That is so much worse. You were just snorting straight <laughs> citric acid and yes. sugar. Yeah, and we Dying. thought we were so fucking cool. 
I only did it once oh, God. because um, it fucking hurt. I was very I was very scared of my parents. Yeah, fair. In case in case somehow it got back to them, I knew my mom would disown me. So uh, <laughs> I I did it once to to show yeah no I'm a fucking badass. And after that I was like never again. <laughs> I like left tears streaming down my face because it hurt so bad. <laughs> But I did it. Oh God. Um. So you know, I I I'm gonna I'm gonna change my rating. I'm gonna say anything that looks like like a substance. I'm gonna say yeah, maybe it should be. Like, the kids are dumb. Yeah. I honestly oh, like dear. so many of the things like stupid things I've done. I was like, who in the fuck put this idea into our heads? Like, why yeah, why what? was this something that I thought was like cool? <laughs> like so yeah, yeah, many exactly. things. I'm like, what? Yeah, because it's not, it's not even like it was just like, oh, I'm going to try this and see what happens. No, yeah. we thought we were the shit. And it's not like, we oh, thought it was so I cool. drugs, it gives me a mm-hmm. high and everybody's doing them. It's like, no, no, let me snort candy and let me smoke paper. Paper. <laughs> I'm not smoking tobacco. I wasn't smoking weed at the age of 12. I was smoking no. paper. Paper. <laughs> okay, oh, if, if you didn't start, if you didn't start, um... Smoking just straight paper. Are you really a stoner? I don't fucking, I don't fucking think, think so. so. Look where I am now. All right, all right. Okay, so I think it's my turn. Um, <clears throat> says here, uh, it's illegal to whistle in Petroleum, Ontario. According to the town's website, yelling, shouting, hooting, whistling, or singing what? is prohibited at all times. What? What is the point? You can't do anything. What's that song? That whistle song. Is it a T-Pain song? No, it's Flo Rida. Flo Rida. I wonder if they're allowed to listen to that song there. Whistle my whistle, baby. Because there's whistling Um, at the beginning of the song. Oh, shit. That's a good question. Do you guys ban Flo Rida in Ontario? (laughs) Although, Ontario (laughs) listeners, um, do you listen to Flo... Does anybody actually still listen to Flo Rida? Just asking. (laughs) Yes, no. (laughs) Not just Ontario. (laughs) If you still listen to Whistle from Flo Rida... I'm so sorry, but please, please hit um, unfollow. We don't. <laughs> I was gonna say please. Um, this is actually now a Flo Rida podcast. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so we're branching we're off. We're branching off. Podcast. Um, conspiracy theories. We're actually gonna be just focusing solely on Flo Rida. Yes. Just yeah, him as a person. <laughs> That'll be our intro song. Yes. It'll be. It'll just be about his life. Yeah. It'll be great. I take it back. You know what? If you love Flo Rida, this is the place. For you. <laughs> this is the place to okay. be. Your Flo Rida if friendly can, in this podcast. <laughs> The, the first Flo Rida based podcast of all time. Uh, we, we like to be innovative <laughs> here here on um, Silence of the Hex. Yeah. Yes. Um, that, that rule, I'm going to say negative fucking 50. Yeah. How Kill dare you? Killjoys. Killjoys. Well, what, do you, what, do you, what, if you're, what if you're driving around in your car and you're singing to a song and Absolutely a cop not. can pull you over? Yeah. Don't I don't think so. Do <laughs> no, no. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't you even think about it. You just asked your girlfriend to marry you, and, you know, you shout and jump for joy? Fine. How dare you? Do you guys not have karaoke there? Is karaoke not allowed? Oh. No karaoke? What if What if your dog is running away and you need to call him back to no, you? you don't whistle at him. It's just going to keep going forever. <laughs> Come back. Dear. Come back. Also, what, what are their sports games like? Oh, God. What, is it just, did, does everyone just snap? <laughs> yeah, maybe they do the, what is it, the... Like the poetry reading. No, or the uni- the sign language clapping. Like where they, it's like jazz hands. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe jazz they just hands. do that uh, in the audience. What? Maybe, actually, that sounds kind of lovely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just everyone, they score a goal, just jazz hands. Yes. That would actually be, be really nice. Right? It would be kind of cool. It would be lovely. It. <laughs> be so non-aggressive. Yeah. You, know what? you know what? Have you actually, have you ever been um, downtown when the Whitecaps games are happening? Oh, I've been, I've been. Oh, Jesus. I used I've to work on Granville when I was, like, in high school, and I worked Ugh. every weekend, and every Ugh. fucking Saturday, the White, like, I'm sorry if you're a White Caps fan. Um, I'm sorry that you are a White Caps fan. Um, <laughs> yeah, first and foremost. <laughs> they walk, like, I don't even know where they come from, but, like, they would walk, like, all the way to the stadium where the soccer games are and just sing and have these fucking flags. Like, I mean, it's, it's cool. Congrats. You like them. But, ev- like, every week. And there's, like... At least dedicate your time to... Yeah, um, and I, I went to a Whitecaps game, like, once with Nico, and mm-hmm. there's, like, a literal section in the stadium for these, like, diehard Whitecaps fans. Like, they all sit there, and th- that section of the stadium goes fucking harder <laughs> than any other section of the stadium. Like, they 
they go hard. They're the ones who start the fucking wave. I'm going to be honest, that's too much for me. Yes, I would be I'm fine gonna... with jazz hands for white caps bands only. <laughs> yes, yes. That's that's the hardcore section. Yeah. You just get to jazz hands your way. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Um, all right. I think this one is probably my favorite one because all right. I don't I don't know geography, but if you know geography, Oklahoma, mm-hmm. for those of you who don't know, Oklahoma is surrounded by land. They're, yeah, they're not on the coast. Um, you're not allowed to do whaling in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> um, no catch in the, the, the no big whaling. Great white. No, no, no. In you, a landlocked state. Don't <laughs> no even whaling. Think about it. Don't even no, fucking no. look at the ocean from Oklahoma. Don't no, even look don't in even the direction a, of the ocean. <laughs> don't even watch a movie no. with a whale in it. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not like, I mean, I'm kind of dumb. Whales aren't in lakes, right? And rivers? Like, that's not... Why would they need to make a law in Oklahoma? No one's going to be whaling there. Maybe. <laughs> I get it. Whaling is awful. But like, Yes, yes. No, no. I, I agree. I'm, I'm, not, agree I'm not saying that no whaling, whaling is great. Like, I'm not saying, like, no. saying that they should be able to do whaling, but there's yes, no ocean there. I think we approve the law. We, we disagree with the geography. Mm-hmm. Uh, make, makes little sense. So I'm going to say, you know what, based off of principle, it's a 10. Based off of location, <laughs> it, it's about a 3 yeah. for me. <laughs> just, like, I got a lot of questions, Oklahoma. Yes. yes. Uh, my so first question it. was, when I read this law, was, I don't get it, where is Oklahoma? So I looked up the map. Oh, okay, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I know where okay, well, BC is, Ontario, and New York and California. That's it. Well, that's more than me, so... I went, I went to an art school, so I don't know any maps yeah, of anything. Too. I don't know where anything is. We're, so art, that's, we're art kids. That's nice. <laughs> so yeah. we're, not, we're very artsy. We're not smart kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm, good at, I'm good at drawing, but also I um, don't really know how to tell time on an analog clock. Yes. So. I mean, I do. That's but, not true. Um, <laughs> I, I, I do know that. <laughs> it, it took me much too long to figure it out, but I can do it now. It just takes me um, a couple minutes of staring. Yeah, it, exactly, and that's okay. But you know what? We can draw good. Yeah. The world is evolving. Analog yes. clocks are yes. a thing of the past. Right, right. We all got we all got cell phones. Who needs it? Um, all right. Well, I think. Uh, what do you what? So, what do you rate the the no whaling law? Um, no whaling. Fucking. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, you know what? Good, good efforts. Ten out of right. ten for effort. Uh, zero to ten for execution. Yes. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna go in between in between the middle of my. I'm gonna say a five. All right. I'll give you a five, okay. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, we appreciate it. Yes. All right. So th- this is an interesting one to me. So it says, uh, sorry, and by it says, I am, I am looking at my notes. <laughs> just, just to clarify, um, if you don't pay your hotel bill in Ontario, the hotel can legally sell your horse. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like your left behind stuff. <laughs> no, no what? horse. <laughs> What? So I, I imagine I imagine this this um this this law is is from uh, many many yeah, years ago I was when, say, when people Toronto was pretty like yes <laughs> like city <laughs> so I say, I, yeah I, I imagine this is from when when you your main mode of uh, transportation was was your horse um and it just never got changed uh but for now I'm gonna say you know what that is fair yeah if you don't you pay, don't pay you don't deserve a horse. horse. I agree. Fuck if you, you can't afford your hotel bill, you can't afford a yes. horse. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna give that one like a like a solid seven. Yeah, you know I'm yeah. gonna go with ten that's out of ten. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're a lot more generous yeah. than I am. I'm not bad. Um, North Carolina. What's up, North right. Carolina? Hi, North Carolina friends. Hello. I actually have a friend in North Carolina. Hi. Oh, I don't. So I'm Hi, guys. Happy. If you're, I doubt you're listening. They just, they just had a baby, so they're. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really sorry to tell you guys in North Carolina that you cannot play bingo for longer than five hours. Oh. No longer than that's five hours. Rough. Yeah. If I'm gonna play bingo, it's for a minimum of six to yeah. seven hours. Do they not have bingo? Well, otherwise, what's the point? Well, I knew, I knew that there were bingo halls, and I knew that the games went on all day, but I did not realize that people would actually stay for more than two hours yeah, playing bingo. People, like, 
in a nursing home. They don't really got much else I mean, to I guess do. that's all you can do. <laughs> yeah, at that point. I'm, like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's horrible. I hate it. I hate it. That law, that law gets that, a negative fucking negative. How dare you treat our old people yes. like that? <laughs> That is, that is my rating. Elders. Let them play bingo. Let them play bingo. Wait, but I... Oh, I actually just realized. Hmm. Is it a single game that can't last more than five hours? Or is it like... All right, everybody, consent? please hold. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we are very, very prepared here. We know our shit. Uh, we're just going to double check something else quickly and we'll get back to you. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah. I mean, what, how would a game last more than five hours, right? Well... Yeah, I don't think it can. How many How many numbers can there possibly be on a bingo sheet? I mean, depending on this, is there like a limit to how big you're bingo? Oh, fuck, I don't know enough about bingo. Okay, I take I it back. Maybe this bingo. law is like... Maybe that's fair. Maybe this is a fair law. 10 out of 10. <laughs> you know what? No. No, I'm still, I'm, st- I'm still saying how dare you treat our old people this way. Yeah. If my, if you were a great grandma who was alive when you were 17 goddamn years old... She's lived a long life. If she wants to play one game of bingo for seven hours, she deserves it. I don't know if she can stay awake for seven hours. Oh, shit. Okay, so maybe maybe that's what the rule is, because then, you then must people have been playing for five hours. away for your health. Okay, you know what? Okay. I'm going to say neutral. Yeah. I'm, ne- I'm going to say, you know what, we're going to give this a five out of ten, because I'm not really sure what way this goes. Is it a single yeah. game? I'm not mad, games? but I'm not happy. North yeah, Carolina. Yeah. Anybody from North Carolina who is in the bingo Jet, scene. please help Jet us. help us out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, my, I have my last one from Canada. I know I said mine are all from Canada, but I actually have a, bo- a bonus one. Um, but my last one for Canada, um, it is illegal to challenge someone to or accept an invite from a duel. Really? No dueling in Canada. Wow. Put your rape years away, friends. It's not happening. Damn. I mean... Yeah. Wow. Fair. I also think... I think there's another... Uh, don't quote me on this one, guys. This is just coming back from, from my memories of... Yeah, don't quote us on anything, because we don't... <laughs> Let's be real. Um, <laughs> but I also read that it is illegal... Or, no, legally, sorry... You have to ask anyone who wants to go into Congress or politics or even really business um, whether they have been in a duel. Oh, with I read violent that. Weapons. I did. Yes, I did yes. read that. Yep. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So look, if you're trying to go into Congress, you want to be. Do we have Congress here. The Prime Minister of Canada. No fucking duel. No duels. No dueling. No dueling. At no point in your life. Don't even fucking think about it. All right. It. All right. Children of the future, I'm not listen kidding. up. Put your swords away. Yeah. No swords. No swords at school. Come on, yeah. guys. Put them away. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this this law. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give you a nine because. Wow. Yeah, that's fair. Wow. That's fair. That's that's dangerous. Okay, yeah. we don't need any more violence. Poke someone's no eye out. No more violence. <laughs> you really could. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out, kids. No dueling. I'm gonna go. What, what do you think? I don't know. Like a six out of ten. I'm just like I got I got questions. How many duels has there? been i just I so many feeling... i'm like what happened to make this a law yes like really i <laughs> i want the history i want the history behind these laws yeah yeah, yeah i want to know like do people actually give a shit about these laws you know um i think i think too a lot of these like even when you're going through and you're like oh my god the 10 craziest yeah. laws in the world i think a lot of them are, are from like for for example the the dueling one i think it's similar to how um in ontario they can sell your horse if you don't pay your yeah. hotel bill i think it's kind probably like from a long time ago that it. there was just in there and i mean i would imagine it takes a lot of work and a lot of time yeah i'm um, a lot of paperwork to um change or remove a law yeah. so i feel like if it's outdated and irrelevant, there's no point in in changing it. So I feel like a lot of them are kind of like whatever, yeah. you know? I have a nice one. Um, oh, I like nice it's ones. It's a nice one. Also, North Carolina. Welcome back. Um, oh, my God. We love you. Yes. We love we, you, North Carolina. I've discovered that I quite like North Carolina. Fair. Oh, it's there. But so far, <laughs> all I've read, I like it. All I know it. is there's a new baby over Never there. Never been there. There's a baby I know there. That's what matters. Maybe I want to be in North Carolina. Who knows? Um... So this is actually lovely. I don't know how much truth is behind the reasoning of this law, but okay. it does make sense. So right. it's illegal to hold a meeting or demonstration while wearing a mask, hood, or other costume. Oh, yes. Yep, this yep, yep. is said to be a law in place 
to crack down on KKK activity. I mean, fucking totally good on you, North sense. Carolina. Yeah, that's yeah, truly good. Fuck the especially, KKK. Especially, <laughs> I was gonna say, especially I think over in that area where I mean, I don't want to generalize, which I as I I'm gonna say as I'm generalizing, <laughs> but generally speaking, I feel like that that you know, there's more activity yes of that nature over in those areas. Um, everyone, come for me in the comments yep. if that's totally not true. Um, Southington, Connecticut. Oh. This is also kind of a nice one. Since 1996, mm-hmm. um, Silly String is banned. That's not nice. I love Silly String. Yeah, but it's bad for the environment. That's true. I do love People will probably leave it everywhere. It's a $100 fine if you're caught with Silly String. Don't be Ooh, out there in the you streets with it. your fucking Silly String, guys. You can't, you? you can't sell it. You can't buy it. You can't have it in your... What? Custody is the only word that's coming to my mind, but I know that's not the word. <laughs> In your, in your in your arms, <laughs> in your do not repertoire. caress the silly string string. Don't do not hold your silly string like a baby. Nope, you'll no, get fined a hundred dollars. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna rate that. Oh shit! Five. We didn't rate the North Carolina one. Uh, guys, we're new here. This is this we're is trying to make rating our though. thing, and it's not. Yeah. It's <laughs> we're not forgetting fun. about the rating part of this. <laughs> Um, North Carolina one, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I, 10 I out of 10. 10 out of 10. Um, Southington, Connecticut, 10 out of 10, guys. No silly string. It's bad for the environment. Nobody ever fucking cleans it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with that. Um, maybe, maybe someone, I'll invest, I'll invest, um, everything in my bank account, which currently is, like, I think I have 20 bucks in there. Nice. Um, I'll, I'll invest it in, in a biodegradable natural silly string. Nice. Alright. Hey. But. Also, you have to figure out how to do it without aerosols, because also, bad for the environment. Yeah. Hey, Nirvana made bleach with, like, no fucking money. I believe in you. Biodegradable silly string. Nirvana the band? Yeah. Not not actually like, bleach the cleaning product. Bleach the up. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kurt Cobain created bleach? Yeah, he actually made Amazing. bleach. Yep. That's so, it's so crazy to know that bleach has only been around for, like, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I'm gonna say ten out of ten to yeah. both as well. Ten All right, that's both. that's okay. So maybe maybe I'll I'll uh, go on to my my last my bonus one and then and then we'll finish up with yours. All right. Yeah. Go on. Um. So this one is is for my Australian friends out there. Um, I was gonna momentarily try to do an Australian accent, but I just can't. <laughs> just. Uh, I'll offend more people than I'll make laugh. <laughs> so, um, possessing 50 kilograms of potatoes is illegal unless you are a member of the Potato Corporation or an authorized potato agent. A potato agent? A potato agent. Wow. How does one become a potato agent? Imagine not having that on your resume. I'm an authorized potato I'm agent. Potato Don't agent. fucking look at me like that. <laughs> so... For this law, I'm going to um, rate it 50 kilograms of, of potatoes. Yeah, 50 10. potatoes out of 10. Yeah, it's, you know, it's fair. you gotta got to keep the corruption in, in hey. the potato industry down. Fair enough. You can. Yeah, you know what? I'm yeah. with you on that. Keep Thank our potatoes. You. Protect the potatoes. Protect the potatoes. Keep them safe. Keep them um, fun safe. So my last one. Yes. In Cambodia. Lovely place. But in 2001, yes. they banned all water weapons. No squirt guns. No Nerf guns. No Nerf fights. Nope. What about water balloons? No water balloons. No water weapons. Okay, so water balloon is fine. I don't know. It just says water weaponry. Subjective. What is water we- weaponry? It's a hard thing well, to say. Well, I guess you could say like a, a water. They say it can be used to cause fast. unrest. So you don't want to just be walking down the street and have I mean, somebody attack you with water. I mean, I wouldn't want that. I don't, how often did that happen that they were like, no more fucking water guns? I think it depends on the day for me. <laughs> if, it's, if it's really hot out. And it depends on the age, enjoy. too. Also depends, I guess, on what's in the water gun. Oh, oh. Is it water? Oh, oh, yeah. Is it other things? Who yeah. knows? I would take the water on a hot day. It's always... Maybe, I mean, not, especially I've, maybe I've only been, been there for boy. a month and a half, but it was very hot when I was there, so... I would oh, have yes. been attacked by water. Gladly. <laughs> Fucking yes, yes. gladly. Um, that, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give you 
a negative 32 degrees because it, it's hot over there. <laughs> it's very hot I over there. I need my water gun. It's very I'm hot and it's very it humid. Let yeah. me... Oh, no. Let me spray myself with my nose Yes, gun. thank you. Okay, I'm not hurting anyone. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that too. I just... You know, water balloons, I get, again, I'm not, I feel like I sound like, I do love the environment, but I'm definitely not like, no, fucking plastic. Like, I'm not like an environment Nazi. I I understand, you know, circumstances. Um, Yeah, water balloons are kind of bad for the environment. People don't usually pick up the plastic. I feel like, I mean, well, this maybe is just me, but whenever my family has done um, water balloon fights or anything, we always pick up the really? plastic. But I think that that might be more because my dad doesn't like how yeah, the see, colorful balloons look. We would head, also, so. um, when when I was a kid and we would have water balloon fights, uh, they would be like like neighborhood water, water balloon fights. So it would oh, be like yeah. just well, fucking children just running in the streets around where I live, just like pelting each other with water balloons. Okay, so you know how I said I would invest the, my, my last twenty dollars in, in the silly string. I'm gonna change that statement. I'll I'll invest ten, and then I'll invest ten nice. in a biodegradable water balloon. Very nice. Yeah. That might that might exist already. <laughs> Someone tell me. I will still invest. I would like them to be in mainstream market. I will invest my ten dollars yeah. for them to be on grocery store shelves tomorrow. Thank yeah, you. I want them everywhere. In Sobeys, <laughs> I want them in in Whole Foods everywhere. Um, yeah. I think that covers all the weird laws. Some of the weird, not all some of them. Of the weirder laws. Some of them. No, definitely not all of them. Mo- mainly the ones in in the U.S. and in Canada. Yeah. Um, if we miss anything that you know, let yeah. Us if there's know, any funny the ones that you guys know of where you're yeah. from, tell us. Yeah, and if if you guys want to follow up to this too, yeah, I'm totally in. Let's can, do it. You can subscribe if you want. <laughs> if, if you want, you can also like leave us comments. Yeah. Tell us that we're doing good. Tell us that we're pretty. You s- that you like the sound of our voices. Yeah. Oh my god. Flattery will so get lovely. you fucking everywhere with us. Everywhere. everywhere. Very far. Yeah. Very far. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Do not worry. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Um. All right. Thanks so much, guys, and and have a wonderful day, and and don't forget to pay your hotel bill. Yes, please. If, you're on a, if in for the sake of your horse, please. Yeah pay yeah, your hotel your bills. Better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.